Hey guys, how's it going? I was riding down here on the back of a piece of property we have and I got to noticing something that I feel like I need to take care of and that without delay. I've been trying to sort of thin this area out, but I've got some pine trees here. You see that? It is dead. There's another one. Dead. There's that one right there. Dead. Sometimes in competition between trees, one will, because it doesn't really have room to grow, whatever it will die. But these are getting some beetles that's killing them. But I need to take these down. The fellow who knows a whole lot more than me tells me that when a tree gets in trouble, it starts sending off signals to the surrounding trees that, hey, I'm in trouble. And then also, these insects that's eating on these trees and killing them will want to get over in the live trees. And I've got a pretty good stand of pines here that I don't want anything to happen to. A little cluster right there. There's three, four. I need to get them on the ground just as soon as I can. I happen to have a chainsaw with me. I believe I'll take a few of them down. Let's get busy. This is one of those times foolish men need to remember to put the hat on. So, I mean, I'm, I'm checking to make sure there's no hangers up there, but you never know if that top's going to break out. Right, I got one more, one more right here. My problem is the things are standing so straight, they don't have any limbs on them. Hard to figure out which way they're going to go. I think I know where this one's going. <laughs> That's most of them. My guess is probably the thing 
you want to do and I'd like for some of you timber guys to let me know am I thinking right when you cut down a dead tree you probably need to get it if, if you can't get it completely cleaned up you probably need to get it on the ground so it will rot as quick as possible that's my thinking anyway let me know what you think those three up yonder one two three four five here <laughs> My neighbor was telling me these boring beetles will get in here see that hole there and if it's really quiet you can hear them I forget what he said they sounded like but uh, he said you can hear them things munching on that timber that's a shame I mean that it wasn't the biggest tree in the forest but I mean it was 10 inches at the stump I'm glad to have that done I'm going to keep an eye out for them beetles. I got some pines here I don't want them to get into. I want to make lumber out of them pines someday. Listen, you may have watched this as a stranger, Sawdust and Sweat and Sea. I hope that you'll watch, check out maybe some of our other videos. And the main thing is, you may have come here as a stranger, but I hope the next one you watch, you'll consider yourself a friend.